One of my favourite paintings is Francisco de Thorberan's portrayal of St Margaret of Antioch, which today can be found in the collection of the National Gallery in London. Legend tells us that St Margaret, or St Marina as she is known in the Eastern Church, was the daughter of a pagan priest, who was abandoned by her family and forced into the solitary life of a shepherd following her decision to become a Christian. After many trials, she was finally consumed by the devil in the shape of a dragon, from which she only escaped when the cross she carried became entangled in the dragon's innards. Fate, however, would not be kind, and Margaret did eventually meet her master's death when she was decapitated in the persecutions of the Emperor Diocletian in the early 4th century. Despite this pitiful and often gory tale, Thorberan presents us with a very different looking Margaret. Here she appears a rather beautiful and fashionable young woman. Her shepherd's crook and lambskin jacket are the only signs of her work tending sheep, and her wide-brimmed straw hat and colourful saddlebag appear more like fashion accessories than symbols of her peasant life. But it is precisely with these apparent contradictions that Thorberan works his magic. If we look for a moment at Margaret's left foot, visible beneath her red skirt, we can see her delicate pale toes protruding from her sandal and note the contrast they make with the dragon's threatening claw with its scaly skin and lethal talons. Margaret's face is serene, her flawless skin and penetrating gaze every bit as imposing as the dragon's open-jawed wild expression. If the dragon is fixed on his prey, Margaret seems oblivious, preferring to fix her eyes on her viewers, drawing them into her silent spiritual world. And if the martyr's plaintive features are not enticing enough, Thubran has another visual trick to draw us into the scene. Notice the wispy fastenings at the collar of Margaret's white blouse, the colourful tassels that decorate her saddlebag, or the soft layering of cotton, woollen cloth and lambskin. Each texture designed to make us want to lean into the image and explore its haptic qualities. And as we enter the vision of Margaret, we meet both the dragon's terrifying fangs and the saint whose steely faith makes her impassive to the dangers all around. The more I look at this picture, the more I realise how Thuberan engages more than just our eyes, inviting us quite literally to feel the image he has conjured before us and to hear the dragon's roar and Margaret's silent reply, an appeal to our senses that transports us into the heart of his artistic vision. <laughs>